Hi guys, Neil Waterhouse. This week's video is a quick introduction to how to do Amazon product research using Helium 10 and how to find hot best-selling items on Amazon. So let's launch straight into it. The first step of course is to open a Helium 10 account if you don't already have one. However, Helium 10 has a free trial so you can try everything I'm going to show you now without paying any money. I'll put a link on the screen and below to Helium 10 and also a 50% off coupon code if you decide Helium 10 is for you. Now if you've set up a brand new account you should see this page. Now Helium 10 like a lot of other software is very powerful and therefore has many functions which can be overwhelming for some people at the beginning however like most software the 95-5 rule comes into play that is 95% of the time you can get the data you need by knowing less than 5% of all the software's features. Let me show you. From the Helium 10 homepage, click on the magnifying glass to reveal product research. Then select black box. Black box is Helium 10's Amazon product research module. Now to do basic Amazon product research using Helium 10, you just need to populate these five fields. Yes, you can certainly drill down much further later on, as I'll show you in this video, but let's start first with the baby steps. So in the first field, which is the category field, I'm going to select the category Home and Kitchen. In the next field, which is the Monthly Revenue field, this is where you choose the minimum amount of revenue for an item. For this demonstration, I'm going to select $10,000 so Helium 10 only shows me items that have a monthly sales of $10,000 or more. The next field is price. And for this demonstration, I'll select $10. So again, Helium 10 only shows me items which sell for $10 or more. The next field is review count. And I'm going to put a minimum of 25. So again, I only see items which have 25 or more reviews. And the last field for this demonstration is the, the review rating field. For this I'll put 3.5. So I only see items which have a review rating of 3.5 or greater out of 5. Once you've populated those 5 fields, click the search box and bingo. You can now see all your results. Here you can see monthly sales, product ratings, and how many ratings each has received. You can also see how many sellers are selling this item, or any item. Sales trends for the last 90 days, price trends for the last 90 days, and if you wish to filter your search results more, click on the advanced filters button, and now you have a lot more fields including FBA and FBM, so you can really refine your search. Now, just to stop a barrage of emails, Helium 10 is awesome if you're researching products for an Amazon FBA, FBM or private label, but we do not use it for drop shipping. For the newbies out there watching this video and don't know the difference between drop shipping and FBA, with FBA you need to outlay money pre-purchasing inventory before it sells and you get your money back when items sell. Drop shipping is the opposite. With drop shipping you do not outlay any money pre-purchasing inventory before items sell. With drop shipping, you sell items first, and then after your items sell, and after you've been paid, you then purchase inventory. I'm not going to go into drop shipping in this video as I've done that many times before, but I'll put a link on the screen to a free step-by-step drop shipping video if you wish to know more. That's all for this week. Hope this week's video helped you with how to do Amazon product research using Helium 10. Please scroll down, leave me a comment below and while you're there, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more no fluff hints, tips and automation strategies to make a full time income from home using eBay and Amazon without ever needing to leave the comfort of your own home. Until next week, stay safe, list more, sell more, this is Neil Waterhouse.